All right. Let's solve the second simplest partial differential equation, Poisson's equation in one dimension, where the right-hand side, known as the kernel, I don't know why, is x cubed. But it doesn't matter what function that is. And once again, we could use the calculus way of thinking, saying that if the second derivative is x cubed, then the first derivative is 1 quarter x to the fourth plus a constant. And the function itself is 1 20th x to the fifth plus a x plus b. That's the calculus way of thinking about it. We're not going to use the calculus way of thinking about it. We're going to use the linear algebra way of thinking about it, where the u will be a particular solution where we can just guess one possible solution to this equation. And that, of course, is 1 over 20x to the fifth. Yeah, OK, fine. We used calculus there. But we didn't worry about the constants, right? Because remember, we only need one partial, excuse me, one particular solution. So that's the one I chose. Plus the null space of the Laplace operator. So I'm, again, much more about the structure, because the same structure will apply here than about thinking about the specific functions that we're using. OK? Now we have found all possible equations. We're, again, going by decomposition. Yes, things are a little bit different. This is technically a nonlinear equation, although nobody would really call it nonlinear. It's technically not linear, but the way you think about it is, once you find a particular solution, all that's left is a, linear, is a linear equation. So I think most people would still call this linear. Just like AX equals B is a linear system of equations. It's still there. OK, so now we have to satisfy the initial condition. Once again, just the right number. Everything works. All that's left is just a little bit of arithmetic. We have at value 0, the function equals 3. So B equals 3. <laughs> At 5, am I going to, at 1, thank God, I don't have to raise 5 to 5th power. At 1, the value of the function needs to be 5. So we have 1 20th plus a plus b equals 5. So now the solutions are, the solutions are 39 20th and 3. So the unique solution. This was a very enjoyable exercise, albeit too short. Equals. Once again, as a sanity check, does this satisfy the differential condition? Of course it does. That's what gives us the right-hand side. This is in the null space, so it'll give us 0. Does it satisfy the initial condition? Plug in 0, get 3. What did I say, initial condition? Boundary condition. Does it satisfy the boundary condition on the right? Absolutely. I'm not even going to check. 5. You can see that. 